the stronger cuist and I was making 50s and 60s and just breaking down. wasn't able to finish the game off in one visit. And uh, oh, oh, I don't know. Unless I'm gutted for Marco because you know he's such a he's a top, he's yeah. the top top lad. And um, was the heart racing a bit in the final frame? No, not no. really. And I felt quite calm because I, I, you know, I just stayed focused through the whole match. I spoke to Steve Peters today, and I've been really quite nervous all week, you know, because um, not knowing how I'm going to play sometimes, you know, and it's very patchy. And you know, he settled me down today, and I went out there relaxed tonight, and I just. You know, I was getting frustrated with myself, but I was blanking it quickly and just focused on doing well. And I think when you do that, when it comes to the end of the match, if you've kept that attitude all the way through, then you know, if you get a lifeline, you're great front. in the last frame. Yeah, I mean, you yeah, looked. I mean, yeah, even yeah. the first ready part. Was just yeah, great yeah, yeah, yeah. Him. But I'm, but I'm, I'm we're searching. You know, I'm like, I'm like where's the <laughs> when you, of the white, you know? when you hit the blue, went in between the green and the yeah. brown. You must have known you'd struck it very well it was going to have a chance yeah. to split the reds it well, couldn't have split them better you really. have to hit i mean it's not about how hard you hit that shot if, if you hit it sweet you can hit it quite soft and they sort of break it's up the shot now look at the way there, that, yeah, yeah and you also not, got yeah. power in it as well so you, you did get a yeah. chance to shift them about yeah i mean look at that i mean you can't i mean i've got a bit of form there you know but when you hit them all right you expect to get and even that next red you had to have the red ball clean yeah because there was a <laughs> yeah because you don't normally have the ball clean the ref's clean yeah and then, then you're under a bit more pressure and there was a bit of mist on the ball I just thought, I'll come and just get down and pop, you know, just try and pop the balls. But um, we talk about pressure on you, and obviously yeah. you were uh, you were in the ascendancy, and then suddenly Marco has this massive comeback against you, and he was really had the momentum with him. So when when you're sitting in your chair, I know mm. you're talking about being patient, but could you explain to yourself why it just wasn't flowing so well at that point? No, I mean, even Steve Peters can't even sell to you know, he can't even cure me of that one, and, and nobody can, you know. He just he's just said to me, look. It's okay searching for perfection, but sometimes, you know, I have a bit of perspective. It's not always possible, and you've just got to hang in there. And sometimes when you think you're playing that bad, ask one of your close friends, and they'll probably tell you it wasn't that bad. So I just have to be a little bit less harsh on myself, and I've done that tonight. And I thought my attitude through the whole match was, was good, you know. That's what I was really happy with. So even if I'd have lost tonight, you yeah, had been very disappointed, but I'd have been like, happy that I hadn't sabotaged my own success, and I'd give it everything. And... You know, and uh, and you and you live to fight another day because there's, there's there's a tournament next week and a week after. So you just have to just it's like a bus. You just stand in the queue and hopefully you get you get your you get your chance. You know. And I tell you what, it was really genuinely lovely to see the two of you having that conversation at the end because yeah. you've talked about how much you admire Marco. I think everybody in the game does. He's a he's a really underestimated player, isn't he? He's I mean, not by me and not by any of these boys. They know how good he mm. is. And if he'd have beat me, I'd have just said to him, you know. And I and I get on really well with Mark Selburn there, so I've got no problem, Mark. Um, we've done a bit of touring, but I'd have said to him afterwards, believe you can win because I think with Marco, he has the game. Mm. Yeah. With, with just that, believe, just have that bit of killer instinct, you know. And with, without giving it, what, what was you saying, Marco? Was it just about what? the kick? Or the two. No, what, no, I said, first of all, I said the kick. I said, you were robbed. And he went, well, you had one. I went, yeah, yeah but yours yeah. was game ball, you know. And um, and then I said, have you lengthened your backswing? I said, because if you have, I says, I said, it looks really good. I oh, said, I know you're like, <laughs> struggling a bit with it. I said, but they're hitting the back of the hole a bit like, like how Trump hits it, you know, like mm. you can hear it cracking. And he said, yeah, I've lengthened it a bit. I said, I've been watching you. And I was like, keep doing it. 